Hello friends, this is Coldrun back with Subnautica, and I'm here with my um, emotional support uh, emotional support bladderfish. Uh, her name is Susan, in case you're wondering. And uh, Susan and I here see a radio thing on the right, which tells me that the game did not autosave, thank goodness, when I got the transmission that uh, aliens are, are coming, to, coming to kill me. Um, which is a good thing, because I don't want to die from aliens. Yeah, it's blinking. It wasn't blinking at the end of last time, because I quit out just after that. So it really does just save when I save. So that's actually really good to know. And um, ZZ has told me that... Because I was afraid... I assumed that, like, let's say that they said, in five minutes, a aliens will come eat you. Um, I assumed that if I didn't click that, that the aliens would come eat me and I just wouldn't know about it. But apparently it doesn't move the plot forward unless I interact with it. So I actually want to give myself some time before I do that. Um, so we have some time. What do we, what can we make? We can make a purple tablet, but we kind of, we have, I think we have all the purple tablets we need, right? I'm going to hold off on that. I assume I'll eventually need it, but I don't think I need it right now. So let me hold off on that. Um, the next actual thing in game I want to do, oh, it tells me when there's new stuff. Cooked boomerang, Gary fish, bladder fish, peeper fish. Reginald was the new one, right? Punchington and smoky, extremely filling. Okay, good. Let's make a cooked Reginald. Sorry, Reginald. Cured food, cured peeper, cured bladder fish. Dehydrating but keeps well. That's weird that bladder fish... I, I would have hoped that bladder fish would not dehydrate me. But that's how it goes, I guess. Um, bleach, we need coral tube samples. I may try for that because I think we really want that sort of thing. Because I, th I, I want to... I have some time now, I think. There's no timer yelling at me. And so I want to, if I can, take some time. Uh, I also want to take a look at the lore, actually, because this is probably a great time to take a look at the lore, because I can just reload. With, while my hunger and thirst go down, I'll just reload afterwards. Um, so let's look at some of what we got here. Um, indigenous life forms. Coral. Brain coral. Uh, permanent. It's actually really tough to read here. Um, maybe against this as a background. Yeah, this is better. A permanent growing colony of microscopic organisms. This coral species is adapted to filter carbon dioxide from the environment. Um, oh, interesting. So I wonder if we can use a... F Aha! Bill, you, okay, let me keep reading aloud. Uh, using the carbon to build the colony and expelling the oxygen from specialized exhaust funnels. It's quite hardy, suggesting samples from a mature specimen could be grown artificially. Ar assessment. Air tanks are equipped to siphon oxygen from the water where possible. Wait, that's the assessment? That feels like I'm missing part of the story here. Air tanks are equipped to siphon oxygen from the water where... So... If I find brain coral down there, it, oh, it's it's just saying my air tanks that I already have are equipped to do that. So, because ZZ told me after the last session that the um, there were going to be things here that I could uh, interact with that didn't have to require me to go keep going back up for air. And this must be what, what she was talking about. This must be it. Um, is the other coral like that too? That's brain coral, coral shell plate, giant coral tubes. Rich in calcium, bleach fabrication, computer ship fabrication for table coral. Mm, okay, but that's really good to know. Data downloads, alien data. Let's you know, let's just go through this one by one. Um, habit. Okay, so air pumps. So this is if we want to build a habitat in some way. Radiation suit. We're good on in a post-mad world. Ma oh, mutually assured destruction. Um, safety rate up to 400 SV per hour. I wonder what SV is. Probably some just radiation unit, I guess. Um, oh, it's sleek. Thank you. Thank you for telling me that. Repair tool. Habitat installation. So let me see what this is. 
what these, what these are for. This aquarium is designed to hold and to sustain up to eight small aquatic organisms. Fits into a regular multi-purpose habitat room. So it needs a habitat room to go into. Gotcha. Aquatic creatures make up 70% of all known species, making the aquarium a commonly deployed tool in many exploratory operations. It's often, it's just as often used to hide, house livestock for later consumption as to hold research specimens for, specimens for Xeno research. An automated environment regulation system means there's no need to feed or care for your subjects. Okay. It's not for breeding applications though. We need a full-size alien containment unit for that. Okay, so this is... I don't know if I... Because I'm thinking of those eggs. I wonder if this is the place I put those eggs or if it's somewhere else. Right, fabricator. So we're good. We have a fabricator already. Habitat builder. So it's used by xenoscientists, colonists, and emergency relief crews. Um, hermetically sealed. Quick start guide. Select the basic component from the builder menu and place it somewhere opportune. Add a hatch to access the component. Build a solar panel to... So you have to... There's a bunch of shenanigans that go into this. Hi, Pigeon. Primary habitat systems like oxygen generation and flood control, as well as modules like the fabricator, draw power and will not function without it. Primary habitat systems like... Primary habitat systems like those things as well as those other things, will not function without it. So you need... Draw power and will not function without it. Okay, um, so you need some kind of power method. Okay, good to know. Scanner room. So this is for... Uh, to store local topographical data. Wall-mounted camera feeds allow for live control of scouting drones. Ooh, scouting drones. Nice. So we can maybe explore, like... Ooh, that would be nice if we could, like, explore that dark water area um, uh, off the coast of the, um, off the coast of that alien facility without going there ourselves. That'd be nice, but I'm, that seems a bit optimistic for this game. Solar panel to uh, gain power relative to sunlight. Okay, gotcha. Power. So we can now make a nuclear reactor. <laughs> okay, sure. Um... Renewable energy sources. For everything else, there's... So, all right, let's go one by one here. Bioreactor. Um, may be installed in any multi-purpose habitat room. Chemically composts organic materials, converting them into energy over time. Accepts all plant matter from seeds and spores to moldy fruits and vegetables. Oh. Wow. Energy production is... So I, so I can just shovel in, like, eggs and stuff um, and get power out of it? That sounds really good, so we should try to make that. Nuclear one houses live is, is for more intense operations, like... Okay. Good, good. Vehicles. So what do we got? We have a few more here. So mobile vehicle bay, this is where we dock stuff, I guess. Wait, maybe not. Equipped with fabrication drones designed to construct small research and exploration vehicles from raw materials. A common tool in almost all industrial, scientific, and colonization operations. Sea glide we've seen. Keep fingers clear of propeller. Anything that moves faster underwater is probably trying to eat you. <laughs> that's, that's, that seems right. Replaceable battery. Yeah, so it would have told me that. Sea moth. So this is something we got recently. A sea moth is a one-person vehicle with a fully in, with an independent replaceable power cell, so we'd have to get a power cell, fitted in the rear in a fully customizable design. Low power, multi-directional thrusters enabled it to function equally well in a sea or space environments. I wonder if I can go above water with it, like if we could soar above the water, that'd be neat. Probably not. So, 10 kilometers per power cell. I was about to say how many meters in a kilometer, and then I remembered what the word kilometer means. Okay. Um, that's really good. Crush depth, 200 meters below sea level. So it can't go farther than that. Okay. Sea moths may be... So it's one person. I don't think I'm going to be getting a party in this game. I really don't. Uh, sea moths may be modified by installing upgrade modules to the access point mounted on the wing, including... Increased cargo storage. Okay, so it might be also you'd be able to use it as like a bank. Increased uh, enhanced sonar. 
pressure and collision comp compensation defensive capabilities. These modules may be manufactured as a, at a moon pool. A moon pool, okay. Sigmoth, it goes anywhere but land, good to know. Data download. All right, let's check out some of the alien stuff here. Alien rifle. Strong resemblance to human weaponry in form, but this device must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens built the structure were themselves humanoid or otherwise employed, the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear is they consider defending this facility a necessary precaution. No obvious way to remove the rifle from its case, but we got the blueprint of it. I think? Did we get a blueprint of it? Let me take a look. Uh, this would probably be equipment, right? Do I see alien gun? Laser cutter, propulsion cannon. Yeah, no, I don't see that. Deplo unless it's a deployable, no. Uh, energy core. This device houses equivalent energy to a 100 megaton nuclear detonation. That sounds like a lot which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vehicles overhead, as we saw, rip sunbeam, uh, or bent around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Holy shit, that sounds advanced. Power is routed via the attached terminal, allowing for the device to be deactivated if necessary. Power is routed via, okay. It's currently operating without parameters, suggesting it will target any ship in range. Aha, okay, so it may, it may not have been an intentional shot at the Sunbeam. It sounds like this is just automated to protect that facility. Force field control terminal. Uh, no known technologies, okay. Nonetheless, good chance, it fun okay, yeah, regular lock and key. Ion cube. This green mineral substance has no entry on the periodic table and an unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of energy. Artificially grown, cut from a larger deposit, each cube contains the equivalent ionic energy of 5 kilotons of TNT. That sounds like a lot. Under the right conditions, it could be released in a controlled manner, likely used as batteries, but would require a substantial power source to be recharged. Valuable energy source. I do not want to get rid of the ion cubes, then. Purple tablets. Uh, features a symbol resembling a U. Despite the onboard power still functioning, algae growth indicates it was abandoned perhaps thousands of years ago. While the technology is far beyond Federation levels... Okay, yeah, we make a copy. Gotcha. Terminal data. Uh, alien data terminal. Despite discovered inside an alien facility... So we couldn't translate it. Likely a solid-state computer. We need more research. Right, okay. Um, this is the thing that indicated it might be psychic. Enforcement platform schematic. What is this? This data set appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it's possible to gather a basic understanding of the facility's internal workings. Okay. Construction material, unknown, non-react, okay. Um, no indication it could be destroyed by available means. Power, uh, powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet, so there might be a... So this is probably going to be an alien power plant we come across at some point in our exploration. Uh, the location is not listed, but there's evidence the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. Layout. So there's an upper engineering section. And the control room, which is accessed via a security sealed elevator shaft or a separate underwater moon pool. That's what they mean by moon pool. Okay. Wait, where did I see moon pool before? I don't remember. It was, there was something that mentioned, a, oh yeah, these modu ma modules may only be factored at a moon pool outfitted with a vehicle modification station. So do I have to go back there? And that's where I make the moon, that's where, that's the moon pool where I would make the um, sea moth, maybe. Unless I can make my own moon pool. Uh, control room only has, only has the only way to, yeah, the control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or installed security measures. Okay. Uh, Aurora survivors, life pod 17 crew, rip them. Um, Seek fluid intake. Oh, yeah, thank you. Um, but I don't think I will because I'm just going to reload re reload in a second. 
Um, Ozzy's log. It's the day of crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if it's rocks or aliens. Uh, it's probably evil fish. Or hungry fish. Uh, the Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cans. It had a cinema. There was a ZRG gym. My cafe. Maybe we can recreate the cafe. Um, I hope I find the, discover the, the, the blueprints for a Frappuccino. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. That's a good question. Why isn't anyone coming from us beyond, like, the C-beam accidentally discovering us? Was there really no communication beyond that? Or are we abandoned here? Alien facility locations. So there's... Aha. There's a disease research facility. That sounds terrifying. Um, cave system with extent... And we've seen that there's an infection here. That's like a devastating infection that the aliens were trying to... Trying to guard against or, dis or like, at least quarantine. Um, live specimen study. Oh, no. There's going to be live specimens in there, aren't there? Like giant viruses that are going to eat me thermal power facility uh wait Synth objective synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium designated kara so maybe that's what i'm infected with maybe i have kara um thermal power facility depth 1200 meters so these are super far down there i don't know how i'm going to get down there inside a natural rock formation in an extent area of extensive volcanic activity generates energy for all local facilities. So I'm looking for a volcano for that. Um, I mean, there was like a, a mountain by the, wasn't there like a, there was like a the big old mountain with the caves inside it by the, um, by the place, by the alien facility I discovered. But that was, I don't know if that was, maybe that was a volcano, I don't know. Maybe that's the thermal power facility, but I don't think so. Maybe it was. Sanctuary A. Sanctuary B, all the day is corrupted for these four places. In the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will automatically be enforced with immediate effect. That's what's going on here. Quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to prevent the spread of infection off-world. Exactly. I was right on that. I feel great about myself. I'm quite smart. Um, all right. Environment scan. Oh, God, the friggin' term Leviathan class predators. I had, I've had, I've so far had a total of one nightmare about the possibility of leviathan class predators and what that might mean um it is not recommended to explore this environment without hazardous materials suits Ex okay yeah yeah maybe yeah oh and it says it's beyond federation space rescue unlikely okay so i don't think there's anything Watch sinister i don't think i will uh analysis confirms that this wreckage is from the aurora outer layers of the material have oxidized suggesting it has been heated to over 1200 celsius Patterns consistent with hull de disintegration. Okay, yeah. Salvage of intact portions of Altera vessels is prohibited. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Scraps of these may be reclaimed for their titanium content and any Altera fabricator. Shale outcrops. Sedimentary rock is formed from flakes of clay minerals. So shale has gold, lithium, and diamonds. So shale is like the big stuff. Tends to be found in deeper biomes. Um... Actually, let me, before I keep continue on this lore journey, let me actually drink something so I don't drown before I finish what I'm looking at. Oh, H. Carnivores. So we've seen biters. Um, we've seen sand sharks. That's a lot of teeth. That's like a lot of teeth. Stalker. Assessment, stalker teeth may have applications in enameled glass fabrication. So there's going to be some, w and they are rendered for nighttime hunting. So there's going to be a way to kill stalkers at some point. Because they say that I can use their teeth, and I don't think I'm just going to, like, yoink their teeth out when they're still alive. Warper, this was the thing that nearly two-shot me. Um, an aggressive creature with the ability to teleport itself. Are you kidding me? Teleport itself and others in space. So that's the second time teleportion has come up in this game. We saw that there's that alien arch that can be used for teleportation, and now these things might be used to teleport. No genetic crossover identified with indigenous life forms. Wait, what? No genetic crossover identified with indigenous life forms. So is this one of the aliens? Is this like an alien that came to explore this place, the warper? 
Head. Mechanisms located in the head region provide its warping capability, which it uses to stalk its foes. Oh, God. It's going to, like... I'm going to look behind me, and it's going to do, like, a full Friday the 13th thing, where it's gonna, I'm going to be running away from it, and it's just going to appear in front of me. Okay. So we have, like, the Jason fish. Appears to hunt other life forms, but no digestive organs have been identified. So does it hunt for joy instead of for food? Internal structure considerably more complex than other known organisms. Unable to distinguish whether organic or artificial in nature for the research required. Yeah, good luck with that research. I don't want to do that. Leviathans. Respect Leviathans. So 100% of the Leviathans we've seen and ever will see are friendly. Um, that's good to know. Yeah, so I saw this, I think I saw this, I, I, don't, I don't think I was recording when I saw this. Um, I think it was just at the end of the last session, I forgot to hit record, unfortunately. But, like, not the last session, it was like two sessions ago when I first met the Reefbacks. But, basically, I, I found out that these were friendly, or not friendly, but they're just you know, sociable. They're, it also says that they're, they can be vulnerable to carnivorous leviathans. So, actually, there are leviathans that will eat me, and this is just not one of them. Scavengers and parasites. Cave crawler. These are the crab things that we're going to trying to stop me from getting diamonds before. Agile, carrion feeder, territorial, well adapted to both land and sea. Uh, absorbs ex gas exchange membrane. Absorbs ga essential gases. Necessary waste recycler. Avoid or incapacitate. It seeks out corpses in packs before depending its claim while the corpse is devoured. So it's not going to necessarily be aggressive to me. I mean, it will, but, like, it's defensive. It's not going to try to eat me. Um, we also found Reginald. Hello, Reginald. A small herbivore and a distant relative of the common peeper. Um, edible, high calorie count. So, yeah, the Reginald seems like an upgraded peeper. I wonder if we're going to get, like, I don't know, a super bladder fish. Maybe. Um... Okay, that's all. I don't want to abuse the... Wait, what am I missing here? There's two things I didn't see. Flora. Exploitable. Bulbo tree. This is the, the food tree. High water content edible. A bulb-based flora which roots to the ground and sprouts turquoise leaves. Uh, the sap produced by this plant is poisonous to insects but could be harvested and consumed by humans for its high water content. Um, and then C. Drooping stinger. It happens. Zero photosynthetic cells detected. Carnivorous adaptation to low light environments. Yeah, this is the thing that if I touch it, it, it will eat me. Prey is small fish. Assessment avoid. Makes sense. Okay. Calorie intake recommended. Restart of the game recommended. See you in a second. Okay, so I've restarted. Um... I have Sally here, or Susie. I don't even remember what I call her. I don't... Yeah. So, I have Sally or Susie, uh, and I am looking to see how I can clear out some space. I don't think I want to make a purple tablet, because I think... I almost feel like this was a way, like, if you didn't discover the purple tablet up on the top of the beach, like, this is a way to get one, but I found it. So, maybe I don't need to... I, I, won't, I, want, I don't want to use an ion cube until I actually find I need it. What do I do now, though? What is my next goal? My next goal is an exploration goal. I want to check out that, um, the Aurora, because I, I, I think it's going to be locked. I think there's going to be, so I think I'm probably going to, because there was a laser cutter I discovered, right? And so I think I'm probably going to need that to continue, but I want to at least see it. Um, but I also think there's a chance that I might, like, that there might be some kind of self-defense mechanism that just kills me, like that I'll knock on the door and I don't have the right code and it'll just blow me up and I don't want to lose a lot of stuff. So let me see if there's anything I can make beforehand that I want to make. Um, what's our next thing? So th there where was the sea moth? I don't, didn't we see a sea moth? Or maybe we haven't uncovered enough schematics for the sea moth yet. Grav trap. Maybe I should make a grav trap. I don't know what I'm going to use for that for, but I feel like it's got to be used for something, but I still don't want to make it just yet. All right, what's the next thing I want? Pathfinder tool, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Habitat Builder. Battery computer chip wiring kit. Can I make that? Acid mushroom I can get. Computer chip I can get. Copper wire. I need copper wire.
and the wiring kit. Wait, so what else do I need? Because that sounds like a good thing to get. Mobile, no, mo not mobile vehicle, but where was that? Um, I totally forgot what I was just looking at. Oh, and this. If I get two glass, how do I get glass? I think I need the tooth of that thing, right? Glass, I must... Is, is glass... Wait, glass. <gasps> Wait. Is this can is this an upgrade I can get right now? Wait. Oh, I guess I have to make one of these. That's a little bit weird. I thought I already I thought I could just use the one I have. Oh, I need four titanium now. Okay. Um I really want to do that, though. Do I have titanium? I have one, two titanium. I don't have four titanium. Old cooked peeper. I mean, I guess. Um, it's not like rotten cooked peeper, so hopefully it's still okay. Hopefully it's just weaker power. Um, what else is here? Coral tube sample. Oh, I have titanium. Good. Yes! Oh, hell yes. Wait, is it hell yes? Did I already have that? No, I had to stand... Oh, I should have just unequipped the standard O2 tank. I'm a dunkus. Okay, never mind. A hundred and thirty-five. Oh, hell yes. So is there anything I can do with this? I 30 seconds of oxygen on that. 90 seconds of oxygen. Oh my goodness, that's so much better. So much better. Wait, did it increase my inventory space too? No, it didn't. Never mind. What is this? Rebreather. Conserves oxygen when diving deeper. Absorbs and recycles CO2 into breathable air. Okay. Fiber mesh. How do we make fiber mesh? Creep vine samples. Let's get some creep... Oh, wait. Do I have creep vine samples? Comfy. Now, what can I make with this? A rebreather. Wait, no, didn't it? Wasn't I saving that for something else? No, I don't think so. Maybe I wasn't. I don't... God, I have no memory of anything. But now we have a rebreather. Um, so can I... What is this right now? Radiation helmet. Lead-lined radiation helmet and lead-lined suit. Aha! Conserves oxygen when diving deeper. So if I want to... So I'm probably going to want to use this for right now, and this is something I'll use if I ever want to go super deep. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So I'll probably keep this, I guess. I mean, maybe the radiation suit is sufficient. Let me test that out. Yeah, let's see if I get radiation sickness as I get closer. Radiation detected. So will that go away if I switch to this? Or is radiation detected just means that it's detected, but it's not? This is a good testing point. Will I get the radiation detected message now? Ninety-two. And now it's gone. Okay, so I actually do have to use the, the full thing when I'm going into irradiated waters. Plasti lingot. Maybe I should build one of those just to see what it does. 
Because sometimes building stuff opens up new stuff. It looks like it did not today, though. All right, so what's our actual next goal, though? Repair tool, flashlight. Sorry, I'm probably going through... Habitat Builder, that's the next thing I want. And that's the thing I wanted a wiring kit for and a computer chip for, and I just completely blanked on it. So I need a computer chip and a wiring kit. Um, but is there anything I have right now on me that I wouldn't be okay losing? So let's do this. I'm going to drop the O2 tank. I'm going to assume that I can't use it, so I'm just going to dump it on the bottom of the ocean. Let me know if this is a mistake. I've just been clearing out my inventory a little bit, um, adding some... Uh, yeah, just been clearing out my inventory a little bit, that's all. Yeah, what's... Did I... Did I... Have I explored this little hole before? No, I don't think I have. Quartz. A quartz is actually easy to come by. Oh, fucking goddamn it, you. So I can get away from it, at least. Um, I'm not doomed to death when I see one of those things. Acid mushrooms. What are you? Oh, you're... Are you delicious? I don't know. Oh, pff, God, I hate those things. Um, limestone, so limestone has copper. Limestone I like. Anything at the top? God, I love having this new uh, rebreather. It lets me be edible for much longer down under the water. Whole fish? Okay. I found a whole fish. I lied. I had to... Oh! I can uh, scan the outcroppings. Okay, good. I lied I was going to keep... I'm not even worried. You're going to hit me and it's not going to be that bad. Yeah, come on. Come come, just explode on me. Yeah, that's not, not too bad. Unless there's some down downside I'm not seeing to that. Like, like if it damages my suit or drains my batteries or anything like that, then I'll want to avoid it more. Okay, so that's going to be it for me for now. Um, I am, Next time, I'm going to uh, first get some more, like, water and, like, bleached water and, you know, just get some, get some more sust sustenance in case this is going to be a longer expedition. And then I will head to the Aurora. So, thanks for watching. And by the way, let me, let me know if... Um, I should cut out these, like, fabrication parts. My current plan is to cut them out when it's old stuff. Like, when I'm just fabricating, like, fish supplies and stuff you've seen me do before, I'll leave it out. But when I'm trying to suss out, like, what I should prioritize, I'll leave that in. I feel like that's a core gameplay element that's worth seeing. So, yeah, but I'll take your advice, and thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.